Theoretical yield of chemical reactions. Gaseous methane reacts with gaseous oxygen gas to produce gaseous CO2 and water. What is the theoretical yield of water formed from the reaction of 6.9 grams of methane and 19.8 grams of oxygen gas? So the first thing we need to do, we're going to do this problem, this stoichiometric problem is to build a chemical all reaction equation and then balance it. That's our foundation for stoichiometry. So our reactants are methane, they indicate gaseous methane reacting with gaseous oxygen. This is a combustion reaction, so we should predict that we would form carbon dioxide and water vapor. So now that we have the chemical equation, we have to also balance this. And balancing this should be pretty easy. If I place a 2 here and a 2 here, it looks to be balanced. 1 carbon, 1 carbon. 4 hydrogens, 4 hydrogens. 4 oxygens, 2 here and 2 here to make 4. That was an easy one to balance. Coefficients of 1 would go there. So now let's look at the given amounts of uh, our substances here involved in this reaction. It says that we have 6.90 grams of methane and 19.8 grams of oxygen gas. What's the theoretical yield of water formed? They didn't indicate uh, a mass or anything. They just said, what's the theoretical yield? So I would assume that you could report this in either moles or grams. Now just uh, to be safe and for good practice, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, get our theoretical yield as a mass in grams. Okay, So we have 6.90 grams of this to start and 19.8 grams of this to start. One thing I want to point out again is when you are given starting amounts for both reactants or for all of the reactants involved, what you need to do is determine which one is the limiting reactant. Why do I need to determine limiting reactant? Because one of these is going to run out first. Now, sometimes you'll, give an, you'll be given an amount of one substance and then you'll say the other substance is in excess. You don't need to determine, to determine limiting reactant. In that case, you already know. It's the one that's not the excess reactant. But here, we're given amounts of these two substances and we're not told that one of them is in excess, so we need to figure it out for ourselves. So how do we do that? How do we determine which one of these is the limiting and which one is the excess reactant? Well, we have to convert from our given amount of methane to figure out how much water we can make. And then we also have to convert from our given amount, given amount of oxygen to figure out how much water we can make. And then we can uh, know which one is limiting us. So I have 6.90 grams of methane and 19.8 grams of oxygen. Now the first thing we need to do is convert from grams to moles. We cannot convert from one substance to another. In this case we're going from methane to water and in this case we're going from oxygen to water. We can only do that uh, through the mole ratios in this chemical reaction as conversion factors. For those conversion factors to work I need to be at moles of each of our two starting substances. So I need to convert from grams to moles here. Uh, the molar mass of methane would be 12.011 plus 4.04, 16.051 grams of methane in one mole of methane. And this would be 32 grams of oxygen in one mole of O2. Now that I have moles of methane and moles of oxygen, I can use the mole ratios or the coefficients from the balance equation to convert from this substance to that substance and from oxygen to water. So let's do methane first. What are the coefficients? Well it says one mole of methane is consumed to produce two moles of water. For oxygen, 
the balance equation tells us that two moles of oxygen are consumed to produce two moles of water. Okay? Now I have moles of water. If I would stop now, my answer would be in moles, but I'm going to go ahead and go to a mass in grams. So let's multiply across one more conversion factor. That will be the molar mass of water. One mole of water is 18.02 grams. One mole of water is 18.02 grams. Notice moles of water cancels now. I'm left with grams of water on both lines. Okay, so the only thing left to do now is to do the math. 6.9, open parentheses, 1 over 16.051, close. 2 over 1 times 18.02 over 1. That gives me 15.493 grams of water. And for oxygen, 19.8, open parentheses, 1 over 32, 2 over 2. 18.02 divided by 1. I get 11.1499 grams of water. So what if we just found? What we have found are is the maximum amount of water we can make from, from each of these two reactants. So for methane, from this 6.9 grams of methane, I have enough methane to make 15.493 grams of water. We're not looking at oxygen, just looking at the amount of methane we have. There's enough methane to make this much water, okay? Now let's look at oxygen and forget about methane. I have enough oxygen to make 11.15 grams of water. Which one of these two amounts is the least amount of water? This one. So that means that oxygen is our limiting reactant. It's going to limit how much product we can make in this reaction. Methane is our excess. Okay? So, oxygen again is our limiting reactant. By definition, when this reaction begins, it'll go forward until one of the reactants runs out and then it will stop. The reactant that will run out is the oxygen. Our excess reactant, the, met the methane, once the reaction stops, there will be some methane left over. How much? We don't know. Uh, just based off of this, we can figure out, but well, we just know that there will be some left over. The oxygen is completely consumed. Once the oxygen is gone, the reaction stops. When the reaction stops, there's no more oxygen. There will be some methane left over, but we will have... 11.1, uh, uh, we need it to three significant digits, so I'll report it to, as 11.1, but we will have 11.1 .1 grams of water formed. So from this and this, we can make 11.1 .1 grams of water, and we call this, we call this our theoretical yield. In theory, theoretically, I should be able to make this much water. Now, will you get that in practice? For a variety of reasons, no. You never really get your full theoretical yield, but on paper, this is what we should produce, assuming this reaction goes to completion. We will never get 15 grams of water. Why? Again, we won't get 15 grams of water because even though we have enough methane to make 15 grams of water, we don't have enough oxygen. The oxygen will run out once we have 11.1 grams of water, and then because there's no more oxygen, the reaction stops.